What's up guys, Frexus Gaming here, and I'm coming at you today with something a little bit different. I'm excited, because I'm about to show you how to install mods using Wabajack. You know, that thing that people are talking about where you can install hundreds and hundreds of mods as if it's on someone else's setup in like a fraction of the time and you just do play and go. Yeah, yeah that. So, the first thing that I'm going to have you do is you want to go to your... Here, we'll just do it from scratch here open your folder here and you're going to want to go to this path your C drive or whatever drive you're using for your computer and you're going to right click new folder and you're going to name it Wab Wabajack Mod Installer okay and we'll get back to that just here in a second the second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your Steam game directory here is vanilla. So I'm going to be modding Skyrim Special Edition. Big shocker, right? <laughs> so this is what vanilla Skyrim looks like. It doesn't have SKSE in it, doesn't have the ENB or anything like that. So yeah, make sure it looks like this. And I would recommend uninstalling, reinstalling your game as well as the installation path being outside of Program Files 86. I haven't tried Wabajack with Program Files 86, but I can just tell you that you're not supposed to have your games installed in there and by default that's where steam does install them if you do use steam and 99 percent of people seem like they do so you can have like a folder in your c drive this is how i did it steam games and then there's your path steam steam apps common your game that you're modding okay so after you do that you're going to want to go to wabajack.org and i'll actually post the uh, link in the description here. Now, the thing special with Wabajack is it will actually download the mods and it will install the mods and create all the folders and files that you need. Okay? So it's really, really cool. With that being said, you do need a Nexus account. You can create one for free. Just go to SSE mods or whatever mods you're getting for, let's just, for example, say Skyrim Special Edition. Okay? And you're going to want to make sure to get a premium membership. Now, whether that's lifetime, that's up to you. But you can get one for one month, I want to say, for about 4 or $5. So it's rel relatively cheap for something that is free to begin with. You know what I mean? And it helps support the mod creators and everything else. It's a good cause. And it makes your process a whole lot quicker. You can do it without having a premium account, but it takes... I, I wouldn't even know. If I had to guess, probably a day or two with the amount of mods, depending on what you're installing. But uh, when you do have premium account, it takes about an hour or two. So you're going to go to wabajack.org after getting premium, okay? Uh, then you'll hit download. Now, one of two things is going to happen. Either you're going to get an EXC down here, or it's going to take you to a GitHub, and you'll just go to the most recent version and click on the EXC there to install it. So once you run the EXE, it should go in this Wabajack mod installer folder, okay? And just follow the instructions. If it doesn't for some reason, because it's been a while since I've actually ran the installer without it being on my computer. But once you get it, you'll want to run it. See, when I run it, it just opens my program up. Whenever you first open this up, it's going to have a lot of stuff going on and of files that it's downloading okay um, and that's okay so it may take about 30 to 45 seconds when you first download it and open it so there's three options here the only thing that we're going to worry about today though is just browse mod lists so click browse mod lists and you're already almost halfway there so you got skyrim special edition you have all these different games that you can pick from but we're going to do skyrim special edition today and just for example we're going to download Noir. So when you want to download the mod list to install it, you're going to click this little button here and give it just a second. And it'll tell you the download size and the installation size. So this is a little over 100 gigs. Okay, you're going to see this here. Don't even worry about this right now. This is just the readme after you get everything taken care of. Every mod list should have a readme. So we're going to exit out of that. And on the installation location, since we are doing Noir, you're going to open up your 
folder file here and you're going to go to this path here. For me, I go to my C drive and I made a folder called games. You can call this whatever you want, honestly, but what you want is just a place where it's easy to access and where you can access all of your mod lists. And these are all of my mod lists that I've installed. Next, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because there's nothing here. You'll right click new folder and we're going to name it Noir, okay, or whatever the name of the mod list is. For Elysium, like with my Let's Play Skyrim using the Elysium mod list, it's the same process. So you create that, you double click the folder that you just created, you go in new, create another folder, and call that downloads. Now make sure that uh, all these are exactly how I'm showing you with like the capital D and stuff because it can actually cause some hiccups. So once those are created, and once you've decided what mod list you're wanting to install, for us it's Noir, you go to Installation Location and you'll click these three dots. Next, you'll go to the folder that you just created. So you'll go C Drive, Games, Noir, Select Folder. It'll automatically go to the Downloads folder and pick that for you as well. Then you just click the blue button and let it run. It's that easy, guys. Literally that easy. Once it gets finished, and it could take a couple hours depending on your internet or maybe a little bit longer, you'll get something that looks like this. Okay? Now I know it looks really intimidating, but the only thing that we're going to want to do is go to our game folder files. And it will differ depending on whatever you're running. You're going to highlight all that, right click, copy, and then go back to your C drive or whatever drive that you have your Steam games installed on. Go to the path directory of the game that you're modding. It's Skyrim Special Edition for us. And then paste. Okay? Once you paste that, go back to your PC, go to your drive, go to your games, and go to your Noir folder or whatever mod list you installed. Just for example's sake, I'm going to do this. You've already copied the game folder files, so then you're going to scroll down here. Now, uh, Wabajack does use Mod Organizer 2, and I'm actually in love with this now. Um, but it'll be the same for every single thing that you do. Every single mod list that you install. And it's the same process, guys. Like, you literally, if you want to install a new one, just make sure that your folder is vanilla. And then just right-click. Like, here's Quest. That's another mod list. Here's Bellavix. That's one for Oblivion. Like, you can do it for different, but you see how all these have kind of the same thing going on. Same thing going on. Okay? So, real simple. Real, real simple and easy. After you get everything downloaded, moved over, and you've launched your Mod Organizer 2. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? It'll look something like this, depending on your mod list. You'll have all the tools. I wouldn't recommend really messing too much with the tools unless you know what you're doing. This is going to be the main thing that you're worried about right here. And this is how you'll launch your game. Whenever you launch it from this Mod Organizer 2... Well, I don't have the, the stuff in there, but when you do, it will launch and you'll, you'll play your game and every one of the mods will be installed. And again, it's different for each mod pack. So pick whatever one that you like personally. Um, I don't recommend installing mods afterwards. Something that I personally have done is this is the uh, SME and it has different profiles and it's just basically all the basic bug fixes and just makes it where it's modding ready and I'm actually building my own list personally but um, with all the others I wouldn't really add mods because a lot of them are over 800 mods active and <laughs> stuff like that so but I hope that this helps you guys if you have any questions I'll do my best to help you I'm by no means a guru I'm a simple guy that loves to game and loves to mod and I hope that this information was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Frexus Gaming signing out.